Hey everybody, this is Robert here from Jones Tech. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and touch on ABS. I touched on it a little bit earlier in a uh, video, but I want to go a little bit more extensive with it. What we have here, we have a Dodge Ram 3500. And uh, what I've done here is I've disconnected the ABS off the uh, firewall. Your ABS, I'll show you why I've got all this hooked up. The ABS starts from back here. All right. If you get down in here, goes down into your sensor here, travels up through here, goes to here, and it connects up in, uh, on the other side of here on the firewall. Now, you don't want to have a connection down here because that area gets corroded and everything else. So what I went and did is disconnected it, brought it down here. I want to show you what I've got. I've got, you get these at a sewing shop. Uh, we call them backbones, and um, you hook them into the back side of the sensor and you push it past the uh, the um, weather, the rubber weather, and the um, the wire itself. And let me hook this back up. Let me show you. Let me show you how an EBS works. Is I've got my meter here. It's an OTC Vision. Go ahead and get this going here. Set this up for the lab scope. Yep. Green probe. Let's see here. Adjust my voltage. And I want to go as low a voltage as possible because that way as I t rotate this wheel, I'm going to see the, um, the width of it. Uh, and I'm going to explain how the sensor works here in a minute. Uh, let's see here. Change the frame. Okay, so as you see here, here's a meter. Now, as I've said before, an ABS is a magnetic pulse generated. You have a, a what's called a tone ring, and it's inside your hub here, and it goes past the sensor. And as those basically has teeth on it, it goes as these teeth go past the sensor, it creates a magnetic field. As the magnetic field is created. It reads the wavelength through the wire into the computer, and the computer will tell you, the computer knows when to lock the vehicle down, when not to lock it down. And to show this, I have my meter here, and as I rotate the tire, you see the wavelength forming. So the faster you go, the more of a wavelength you get. Now, the reason why it has an up and down is because it's reading alternating current, or AC current, which means it alternates between the negative and the positive. It goes across both fields, if it was just DC, you wouldn't have a bottom, you wouldn't have the bottom part, you would just be a flat line, and then your lines would come up like that for DC, that's direct current. Uh, if the tone ring was bad, as I rotate this, I would see a flat spot, but as you can see, there's no flat spots, the, uh, the wavelength is actually clean. And if you happen to have one of these in your shop, this is pretty expensive, they're right around $5,000. If you have one of these in your shop, it makes it a lot easier just to diagnose the uh, possible issue with the ABS. Again, this is Robert with Jones Tech. Have a good day.